guys, it's me, Stormy, and here is the weekly horoscope for February 26th, getting us ready to pop into March 2018. Can you even freaking believe that? You guys were already a few months into this new year, and we're coming up very quickly on the astrological new year, so all good things are coming. Now, if you have been wanting to study the Astrology 102 class, it is in the description box down below, open, ready to go right now. 101 has closed. 102 and 103 are open both starting in April, so make sure you get signed up. Now, as you may have noticed, in January 2018, we had a month where we had three full moons. February, we had no full moons this month, right? So that's kind of a trip. Then we get to March, and we're going to have another month of three full moons. And this kicks off for us this week with the full moon happening in Virgo. Now, this is really interesting because when we have this full moon happening in Virgo, this is our work and health-oriented energy. One of the things I also think that this full moon will be great for for us as we're here um, on Thursday the 1st is going to be looking at our mental health. What's that mental conversation translating like into your body, right? Like where is that mind, body, soul conversation happening? Where's your health? Where's your, do you need to be on a mental diet, right? Um, your physical uh, exercise regime, is that something you need to look over here? It is just a really good day to analyze. It's very Virgo analyze the way that you're doing things, how that's really impacting your life. Now, one of the other things I'm seeing here too, is that um, this moon is really nicely in connection with Venus and Jupiter that are in a trine that same day. So this is very optimistic. It's actually very happy energy. Um, I feel like you can approach everything that's happening this day with a fair amount of confidence, with a fair amount of belief that things can be different, that you're on your way, that yes, something beautiful is coming because most of us have that feeling right now. Something's coming, something's coming, something's changing and it's something good. And I think that this energy helps us walk to the other side. Now, when we get to the end of the week, we have the sun and Neptune coming into their conjunction and they only do this um, once a year. They do it annually. So they're gonna do it now. Then when the sun and Neptune come together, this is really beautiful because this like spotlights spirituality. So what it usually means for a lot of people is it's a time where they actually want to get quiet, right? Like the sun's not making it. So it's like, yeah, let's get out there. Let's be creative. Let's do all this stuff. It could, that could be a translation for you, but usually it's a time where you want to get quiet. You want to go in. It's almost like it's the time where your soul needs a little bit of rest. And so I think that if this is a time where mentally you've just kind of been on edge with something's coming, things are changing, it's okay, but you're just that's kind of exhausted, don't be afraid to get quiet. Another thing that this end of the week energy is absolutely phenomenal for is journaling. Even though Mercury is still in fall this week over here in Pisces, so it's kind of muddy waters, things are not exactly clear, what it is good for is really speaking from a pure place, really speaking internally from a place where your feelings um, are genuine right? Like you are really speaking. It's like your soul gets to speak this week that this, you guys, that's what I'm trying to say is that, you know, ask your soul this week, ask your spirit, what do I need? Where am I going? Am I calm? Ask whatever it is you feel like you need to ask, ask for guidance, ask for prayer, ask for additional gratitude, ask to find those keys. I know you lost, right? Whatever it is, this is a wonderful energy as we end the week to use that Mercury in Pisces energy. Venus is also over in Pisces as we get to the end of the week. So it's really a nice time to speak authentically from the heart, to speak lovingly, to speak purely from the heart and from the soul. So I think in terms of energetics this week, it's going to be very interesting because I do think some of us are going to quiet down and really be in analysis mode, really be in a mode where we're trying to watch our own patterns, pick out our own patterns so that we can outgrow them. So I think it's going to be a beautiful week. Journal, journal, journal. Even if you see something funny, just write it down. You never know when you're going to need to look back over something funny later or communicate, speak beauty out into the world, you guys. Speak it out there this week. I mean, the things we put out, they come back to us three times. So get out there and get your three times. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I love you guys a ton and I'll see you in the weekly next week and I'll hopefully see some of you guys coming up very quickly in my classes. I love you guys.